Well, it was honestly way better than I would have expected. Can you see all the grease on my hands? Oh boy, I did not know it was coming for me. It smells like foot or something. We've been robbed! Oh my god, I can't even swallow it. Hi guys, I'm Mar. I swear I'm dressed. This is just like a strapless dress and it looks so weird, but I'm good. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start talking about this matter because this is important. So as you guys know, I mean, I love to eat. I've done so many videos just eating here on my channel. I drank the entire Starbucks menu. I ate the entire McDonald's menu on my Spanish channel. So food and me, we're like this. We are basically one. So something I really love to eat is pizza. It's just amazing to me how there's just so many types of pizza and prices for pizza. I mean, you can get a really fancy pizza or you can get a really cheap pizza. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna compare them to see if a more expensive pizza is actually better. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I got to eat lots of pizza, so I'm excited. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. Also tap that notification bell to join Club Mar. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. This week was really fun for me because I posted three videos this week. So that's why it's a little bit off. But you will most definitely be getting at least two videos a week from me. So subscribe so you can get new videos and lots of food and lots of fun stuff. Okay, so when I first thought about doing this video, I was like, I need to find the cheapest pizza, I need to find the most expensive pizza. So for my cheap pizza, I decided to go to Little Caesars. I mean, I don't know if it was kind of half cheating because I already know that I love Little Caesars pizza, but I texted my best friend about it and she said it was disgusting. I was like, wait, have you ever even had Little Caesars pizza? Because it's amazing. And she was like, no, but that's just the idea I have in my mind. Okay, first of all, she's completely wrong. It is amazing. And second of all, I don't know if that's an idea that more people have where they think like Little Caesars is not good because it's just like, a five dollar pizza it's pre-made and it's good to go but yeah we decided to start our adventure and go to little caesars we're actually pretty lucky because we had one super close by okay guys so we are on our way to little caesars to get our cheap pizza i guess or like how i would just call it pizza so let's see we have to go pick it up it's a five dollar pizza honestly i love little caesars so i'm i'm really excited we're having that for dinner tonight yeah all right you guys we are here pizza I'm so excited. Oh wait, I'm about to get ran over. No! I need my pizza! I need my pizza now! And it was super easy. They do have pizzas there just ready for you to take and grab really quickly and go. But I decided to pay one extra dollar. So we actually ended up paying six dollars for the pizza because it had like extra pepperoni. Okay, so apparently you can get for five dollars a large classic or you can get extra most bestest. That's also the most awesomest name ever. I think it has like extra pepperoni for six. We should like take a walk on the wild side. Get the six dollar one. You wanna get the six dollar? Yeah. Honestly, it looks like a lot better. We're supposed to get a cheap pizza. Okay, it's, it's still good. I mean, it's a large pizza for six dollars. <laughs> okay. Yes, let's do this. It's that cold. Oh, it's all so good here. Oh, there's also a four dollar one. The regular? Yeah. Yeah. Should we get the regular? You want the extra? I don't care. We'll wait. Is enough for you? Oh no, that's your name. So they made it right there fresh. I'm not sure if it was fresh because it was way too fast to be fresh, but they made it. Oh my god. There's like steam coming out of it. Ooh, we did this. It took us like two minutes. We didn't have to wait at all. It was so good. So good. So warm. It smells really good. Ooh, Do you think we'll I, wait until we get home? I'm eating it now! <laughs> I want it now, I'm so hungry! Something that really caught my eye at Little Caesars was that they don't only have like that $5 pizza, they have a bunch of stuff. I have always known they have the breadsticks, which are so good, and they have a bunch of different pizzas. They have like veggie pizza, they have meat lovers, I believe the meat lovers was like either 9 or $12, which that's already a little bit high. That's just more, I mean it's not like the cheapest pizza in the world. The Little Caesars pizza, oh, it was honestly way better than I would have expected. It was amazing. It was delicious. You guys, okay, we have the pizza. The pizza. The Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza absolutely. Okay, let's see what it looks like. It smells so freaking, it's so warm. Oh, okay, okay, pizza come through. My mouth is so, okay, I'm gonna try it just right now because it's like super warm. Oh my God. Okay, look at the cheese. <gasps> They don't give you napkins there though. Oh, they, they didn't did. have like any napkins or anything like that. All right, doesn't matter. We don't need them. It's so warm. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, oh my God. Ha! 
It tastes so good. I really like Little Caesar, so I don't know if it's a little bit biased. I don't I think, think it's biased. Think. What do you think? It's so good. Mm. So I can't even bite into it. It's so, so hot. That's really good because I was like, it's going to be too cold by the time I get home. I feel like we should eat it at home now. Okay. It's delicious. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> this is like a perfect pizza. I mean, it's so good. It's not like bad. It's not bad at all. Because there's other pizzas you can get for like $15. I feel like this is way better for $6. It was so good. And they gave it to us so quickly. Okay, I actually need to put it on the floor right now because it's super hot. <gasps> My feet are burning. I'm burning up. Off we go. Can't wait to eat this pizza after we get into this traffic. LA style. Yay, we're here. Let's eat this. Yes. Burrito, do you want some pizza? Do you want some pizza? Yeah. Hey, burrito. Hey, burrito. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, he's climbing on me. Yummy, that looks delicious. You want some? Okay, are we it's ready? It's like, nah, I'm good. What? No, he's not. He already ate. No, he's not. Who says no to pizza? Nobody says no to pizza, right? Uh -huh. Okay, be free. Be free, you little piece. Let it go. Let it go. I kind of don't want the piece that all the cheese fell off, so I'm just gonna grab another. See, he does want some. Look at it. <laughs> okay, wait. Let me just grab like this tiny piece here. Let me see. Okay, the cheese is not as soft as before. Oh my god. This is really good. Maybe I'm just really hungry. It tastes like pizza, you know? Like basic good pizza. It's very greasy though. Gotta say. Can you see all the grease on my hands? It's so good. Mmm. Okay, it is very crazy. I want to go to Little Caesars right now. It was so good. It was seriously amazing. I love the pizza. I was so happy with it. I'm craving it right now as I'm talking. It was just delicious. Now, let's get into our expensive pizza, okay? Because I have a lot of things to say here. So first of all, when I thought of doing this video, I was like, okay, I need to find a really expensive pizza in LA, which I kind of thought it wouldn't be hard to find because it's LA and everything's really expensive. And that was right. I mean, I found some places with like $30 pizza. I mean, you know, like expensive, not $5 pizza. But the place where I found the most expensive pizza was this Wolfgang Puck restaurant and they have a $60 pizza and that pizza I was like okay I really need to eat it because it sounded delicious it said it had truffles on it which I mean I really like truffles I didn't think truffles would go well on the pizza but I was like okay I mean it's Wolfgang Puck he probably knows what he's doing so first of all to get this pizza so you can't just like walk into that restaurant you have to make a reservation and there's no reservations available for when I was looking I don't know if it was because of the time of the year it was like last weekend which was Oscars weekend. I don't know if everybody was there, but the place was sold out. You couldn't go and get yourself a pizza. Just be like, hey, can I have my pizza? No. I mean, things are not that easy when you're paying so much money. Things are more complicated, which makes no sense to me. But what we thought of doing was like, okay, we'll just Postmates our pizza. Because I mean, we love Postmates. It'll be so easy, so quick. So we went on Postmates and there's like that restaurant is not on Postmates. It's just not. I guess it's too fancy for us regular Postmates users. It wasn't on DoorDash either. It wasn't on any of that. So I was like, okay, what? Like, I need to think of options. So what we ended up doing was getting a task rabbit that he could go get the pizza and bring it to us because we couldn't go eat it there because we couldn't get a reservation. So this pizza, including the task rabbit, it ended up being well over a hundred dollars. It was actually a hundred and twenty-two dollars. You guys, I feel like you're gonna be checking out my task rabbit. So it was a hundred and twenty-two dollars without even including tip, and we of course had to tip him because uh, yeah, of course. So this pizza was over a hundred dollars. I was waiting for the pizza i mean i have been waiting for days i had been planning it i had tried to get a reservation i couldn't get it so i was like oh my god this pizza is gonna be so freaking good i knew it had troubles on it i was like it probably has like salmon on it i mean for it to be 60 dollars or over 100 dollars if you want to get it at your house i mean it has to be like amazing pizza oh my gosh our fancy pizza is here okay let me see it let me see it wait wait, wait. oh boy i did not know what was coming for me i was honestly not expecting the worst and hoping for the best i was kind of just expecting something all right i wasn't expecting world's best pizza because i was like eh, pizza is not something you go eat at a fancy place or, or like something you eat with truffles or salmon. I don't know why I thought it had salmon on it, but yeah. So this actually happened just now. I still have the pizza right here. I'm going to show it to you guys. You know what? Let me show you what happened first because I was so excited about my pizza. Okay, open it up. Oh, even burritos disappointed over this. What is this? Ew. It's a truffle. What the hell? I know, I know, burrito, I know. You haven't dressed up all fancy to eat I your pizza. I dressed up all fancy to eat my fancy pizza. This is like disgusting. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try it. Oh, oh God. <laughs> mm -mm. 
This is a hundred dollar pizza. What the hell? This is what it looks like. We've been robbed. We've been completely robbed. Oh my god, I can't even swallow it. Bro, I was hoping for it to be really good because I'm really hungry. <laughs> Of course, when I saw this, it was like, what the hell? Honestly, it stinks so bad. Let me see what cheese they put on this because it's not like regular mozzarella cheese. It's like stinky cheese. It just says French black truffles. Okay, so the French are probably not the best people for pizza. I, I want my Italian pizza, not the French black truffle pizza. Like, what the hell? I mean, look at this. Does this look like something you want to eat? Does it look like delicious? Does it, does it even look like pizza? It looks like, I don't know what it looks like. So let's just look at the pizza. It's also so much thinner. I mean, there's like no dough on it. I don't even know how this should be $60. I mean, I get truffles are expensive, but I mean, how, how much could it be? Like $20? Because this is insane. I mean, ugh, it smells really bad. It smells like foot or something. <laughs> It was so bad. So that was my experience with the pizza. Honestly, I feel like I already knew this, that, I mean, you don't really need to get fancy, expensive pizza for it to be delicious. I mean, pizza's always delicious, but seriously, the Little Caesars pizza, it was so good. It was like the cheapest pizza in the world. It wasn't even like, I know maybe like Pizza Hut or Papa John's are kind of like the same thing, but they're like $15. This is literally five bucks or six if you want extra pepperoni. It was so good. I feel like I'm never eating another pizza. Oh, wait, something that I did realize was that it was a bit greasy. That one was greasy. Greasy. This one's not greasy at all. Can you see all the grease on my hands? It's so good. Mm. Okay, it is very greasy. I don't know if greasy goes with cheap or like if not greasy goes with bad. That's probably what because I mean we need our fat. But yeah, you guys, that was my experience with the pizza. Let me know if you like me to make more videos comparing different foods or different whatever you want, whatever you think you would like me to see. Just go and leave a comment. And I would love to make that video for you because I love you guys so much. And this was actually a lot of fun. I mean, I got to eat pizza. One wasn't really great or good, but the other one was delicious. So yay! Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment if you would want to try this black French truffle pizza because just looking at a picture or a video of it, I feel like I would not want to try it, but I'm curious to know, would you guys try it out? But yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you so much. I will leave a link right here for you guys to my previous video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.